All right. I am here with the infamous, the popular, <laughs> wildly popular Oliver. Uh, I have mentioned Oliver on millions of videos, right? I, I get that a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and I've had people say to me, I don't believe Oliver exists. I get that a lot as well. And it's very possible that I paid you, some random stranger, to jump on and pretend to be Oliver. True. You have True. become the Bob Sakamano to my Kramer. <laughs> I was going to say Vera. You know, and there's fans. Yeah, there's a reference uh, my subscribers will get. All of the, the middle-aged men. <laughs> <clears throat> You're very popular with middle-aged men. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for joining me. Uh, yeah, a little, a little background, fun. yeah. A little background for my viewers here, our viewers, of course, because you know I'm going to make like five bucks off this, so you got two dollars right. coming your way. Bingo. Yeah. Um, so I have known Oliver since. Do you remember what year was it? 2008. That's right. Nine? 2008. Yeah. We both started at the same company in Portland, Maine, and uh, we. Uh, joined a basketball league together at work and you had the sweet three-point shot mm -hmm. and i had the, the sweet three-point shot every three games or shot or so yes yep that's true you uh you were very cyclical you know <laughs> down two up one down two games up one. <laughs> and didn't really have many of those great games in the playoffs it was fun though i mean who anytime you can play basketball um at your work i think that's uh that's a pretty good perk yeah right yeah for fun. sure yeah so oliver you are a collector as well you go to um the shows with me you never buy anything but <laughs> you're a collector mostly of, of like 80s basketball right yes correct i mean and, i'm very i'm picky right and early gretzky yeah yeah that's accurate um, any vintage basketball, really, if anything jumps out at me, um, you know, uh, Kareem's, Dr. J's, a lot of 70s stuff. I think I stop around like 90, early 90s, we'll say, which coincides with, you know, kind of when I stopped collecting, period, the first time around, uh, before you uh, eloquently brought me back into this this uh, hobby, which I, I don't think I've told you I hate and love you for. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> So you collected early 80s to 90-ish, right? Based on your collection. It was like mid 80s, mid 80s yeah. to early 90s. Yeah. So you were about 25 years old in the mid 80s. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Mike constantly likes to point out that I'm, I think, two years older than him. Significantly older. I don't, I don't think. I think it's two. Two-ish. Um, so, Yeah. And I went through your collection. I did a video mm -hmm. and I only had, I don't know, a couple hundred subscribers at the time. So not very many right. people have watched that. But that catapulted me to success. <laughs> that video. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, it was nice. You, I mean, you, you came over and I wish we'd done it a little differently where I had yeah. a camera and you kind of opened everything up. Because it was, it was like a time capsule for me. I had a, uh, I don't know, a, a trunk that I stuffed away in 1993 and really didn't touch it, moved it from house to house and and, and uh, didn't think another thing of it until you said, hey, you, you no, know, what was it? You mentioned something about a Larry Bird rookie. And I just said, oh, I got one of those. And you said, you're a liar. And I said, <laughs> you made me take a picture of it. Um, yeah, no, that was great. I wish, uh, like I said, I wish we did it a little differently. Uh, you running yeah. the camera or me running the camera, but eh, it was fun. Yeah, I have regrets too. I've learned a lot, obviously, about making semi-quality videos since then. Um, yeah. So what would you say your best card is? My best card is is the one that started it. It's, it's my, I don't know if you can see that. That's uh, terrible. Yeah. It's it's the Bird Magic Rookie. You with know, Dr. J. One, with Dr. J, yeah. That's the one I, I was thinking about it today. I bought it for $11 in 1990. Uh, a friend of mine, he was a big Dr. J fan. I was a Bird fan. And he kind of dangled it in front of me, you know, periodically and then you know, over the years. And then I think I was a senior in high school or a junior and he needed beer money for the weekend. Uh, he said, hey, give me 20. It's yours. I said, I'll give you 10. 
And he said, no, give me 15. I said, 11. He goes, done. So I've had it ever since. It's been in a screw down, which, you know, thinking back, maybe that has to do a little bit with the uh, the grade that it eventually got. I don't know. But Well, PSA, if they detect <laughs> that it's been in a screw down, will give it yeah. an authentic. Uh, if, if interesting. It's, if it's been squeezed too tightly. Hmm, so, yeah. and this for anybody who's watching, this is the card that uh, we graded with CSG as a three. Yeah. And then, no, no, S SGC, SGC three was a three. Yep. CSG 3.5 and PSA four. Yeah. And it increased the value significantly. So you paid $11 for it, mm -hmm. which would be like $12 in today's dollars. Uh, <laughs> It's paid eleven dollars for it, and then now it's according to that video. Whatever I did, it was like seven hundred some odd, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think that's fair. That's good. That's yeah, basically the same as my nineteen fifty seven tops autographed Bob Cousy. <laughs> Bingo! Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, that's a that's a great card. I love the the video that you did of that. Or actually, there was a few as it went through the process of uh, you were sending it out and getting it graded. And, uh, same with your Kofax too. Yeah, I've only mentioned it. Oops. I've only mentioned it a couple times, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, the Kofax story was early on. And I didn't believe you. I thought it was, eh, it's going to come back. It's going to be fake. <clears throat> yeah, Kofax, I didn't think it would be real either. I didn't even notice it at the card show. Yeah. And I paid, I don't, it was somewhere between 10 and $20 for this card raw. Wow. And I get it home and Renee is looking at it. She goes, which of these autographs is real? And I was like, oh my God. There is yeah. an autograph on there. I didn't see it. The dealer didn't see it. And, and I mean, what are the chances, right? Yeah. You think, oh, some some kid was trying to, you know, I, I don't know. And it was the my, fact, yeah. yeah, it was my first show in uh, thir 27, 28 years. And I, yeah. so then I was like, this is easy. <laughs> this, happened, this should happen every show, right? <laughs> These are the these are the finds that I should expect. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so let's do a little guess that grade. I've got okay. thirty one photos to show you. So about okay. fifteen cards. Although some of them easy. have a couple cards. As you know, I am very good at this. You're right. Yes. <laughs> um, so let's first of all, what other cards you got to show us here? I know your your lighting isn't. My right. lighting's not good. I'm always, I am not... The lighting is always difficult. As you can see, right now my lighting's good, but normally like you've got a ring light, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. I'm not one of these big YouTube YouTubers. I don't have the ring light or the makeup budget, obviously, oh. like you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of makeup. What cards? Um, I actually I have a lot of I have a lot, as you know, of the star basketball. Mid, you know, 83 to, what is it, 86, 85, 86. Any of the Jordan so-called rookie? No, no, no Jordans, but I have. You can get one from Jeff Wilson, pretty cheap. I, I know. I got a ton that I, we have got to go through. I've sit through and, and figure out which ones to send. Right now, it's it's only, what, 84, 85 that they're doing? Yeah. I really hope that expands. Well, they so, will definitely expand that. Yeah, I, I've got a lot <laughs> so when we get another uh another package set up that's that's uh, i'm ready to go i've got a few dominiques uh, i mean i'm just trying to grab everybody from that era i think i think these are really under well will be really undervalued yeah i've got the dominique start, rookie uh, i think that's 85 though that's right? right you got one right around the time i did um I think yeah bought it from six. don sports cards at the card show yeah there you go yeah that's it um, i should i should be paid by don sports cards Right. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's figure out how to share my screen. Okay. It's not as easy. To, 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 to hang on just one sec here. There we go. All right. I want you to guess, and this comes from Maddie C mm -hmm. on Instagram. Now, Maddie C has an amazing collection, and he's, I don't think he wants people to know who he is, but he gave one hint away. A few weeks ago, I figured it out who he is. He's a, I'm not going to say because all I'll say is that he's a, uh, he's a screenwriter in Hollywood. Oh, really? Yeah. But he's had, he has an unbelievable collection. Hmm. Um, so Maddie C puts these out 
and it's right up your alley. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. It talks a lot about the differences between cards. So, yeah. first of all, give me your guess on what these two cards <clears throat> are for grades. I would say the one on the left, the better one, is a four. Mm -hmm. And I think the one on the right is probably, a, I can't really see the corner, the two, maybe, two and a half. <laughs> this is going to blow my mind, isn't it? The one on the left is a seven. The one on the right is a four. Okay. So this gets back to what we were talking about the last the, the card show we went to just last weekend, right? And we saw the Babe Ruth four, and I forget what year it was. And we both said that is, there's no way that's a four. That's a one, one and a half. Yep. But it's an old card. And it was, you know, I mean, the corners were, they were, it was oval, right? They were rounded so badly. But this gets back to uh, what, what I always complain about, or critique, I guess, the industry, the, the grading industry. Um, and it gets back to to my card because at that same show, it's the same card, and it was, it even had the print defects, the same black spotting. Um, it was, you know, similar centering, probably, I don't know, 80, 20. And um, that was like a, it was either a six or a seven, I think. And of course that fired me up a little bit. <laughs> So let's let's share this again because uh, I want to talk a little about a little more about this. Oh, where did it go? Yeah, is this big enough? Can you see this? I can. I I zoomed in so I okay. can uh, I can see that pretty good. So, the seven goes for some two hundred thousand dollars more. Yeah. Does that seem like yeah. it's worth two hundred thousand dollars more than the one on the right? No, I mean not to me. <laughs> and the, the centering on both is terrible. Yeah, exactly. I would much um, rather have a well-centered one. Again, this is, we talk about this all the time, right? What What is the weighting? What do the different grading right. companies do? I, I agree. I would much rather have uh, a beautifully centered card with, a, you know, some soft edges or soft corners maybe than something like these. Yeah. You know? But Matty C... Me. He's a he's a big advocate for moving away from number grades and just yeah. giving authentic or something else. I don't I'm not there. But uh, yeah. There there's in my opinion and we're going to talk a lot about this cuz we've got 15ish cards to look at. <laughs> uh why why is there such a vast disparity between what you might think a grade is? Or two cards that look nearly identical. Mm -hmm. Is it really, is it the back? Is it um, s tiny things that can only be seen under significant it, microscope? I don't know. I mean, it depends on the company, right? We, I think yeah. we both agree. PSA doesn't really care nearly as much about the centering on the back as CSG or, or SGC. And um, they shouldn't. I, I agree. <laughs> Again, so, so it, you know, leading up to this, I thought, well, maybe I have I have some, you know, vintage uh, baseball, too, that I think I'm going to get in or send in, um, not because I think they're in great shape. I just want them slabbed. So, for example, a six, I don't know if you can see that, 60, oh, my lighting is terrible. It's a 61 Clemente, but it's, it's, it's wildly off-centered. But, you know, maybe that's seven, I don't know, you know. Um, I'm terrible at grading, obviously, at uh, older cards, what they, what I think they should be. All right, let's move into card number one. Warren Spahn, oh, 1948 shit. Leaf. What do you think the grade is on this? All right, I am zooming in on this. So that is pretty darn good, in my opinion. And based on the last two we just looked at, I would say that has to be at least a seven, right? It's better centered. Well, actually, what's that lower left? Is that some uh, lower left corner looks a little wonky? I don't know. I'll call it a six. Okay. It's a three. <laughs> that is a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> card. Look at the coloring on it. Look at the clarity. Exactly. The centering. 
I would pay I a premium for that over an off-centered all right. six. I am I am testing my zoom capabilities now. I am zoomed in all the way. I mean, the lower left look like, to me. It looks like it's got a little bit of uh, yeah. The lower left corner looks like it's scraped or I, I don't know. We but, should we should start our own grading company that's just based on eye appeal. Take a quick look at it. Mm -hmm. Boom, seven. Think about how many cards we could grade. You you be the you fund it, and I'll be the you know the eye candy, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Card number two. I can't believe that's a three. That's I ridiculous. Know. I know. Terrible. Uh, this is really small. Let's see if I can zoom in. How oh. do I zoom? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. I'm zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, wow. Two wow. Babe Ruths. Yeah. Which, first of all, which one of these looks better to you? The one on the left. One on right? the left. Objectively. The coloring significantly is... Significantly better. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, it's, you know, first thing I look at is centering, uh -huh. um, coloring is beautiful on the left. Yeah. Faded on the right. The one on the right looks like it was left in the back of someone's car for a summer. <laughs> uh, keep my jokes to myself on that one. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to see? <laughs> yes. I am. Cause this is going to be stupid, isn't it? Yeah. That's what? Yeah. Again, Maddie C. The four, uh, as he said, the one on the left, the four costs about twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. Right. The one on the right, the PSA seven, will go for, will go for over a hundred grand. I. <laughs> and the one on the right is, uh, I'm trying. I don't remember, but the one on the right is newer or much older. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, when it was graded. Yeah. Much older. To, to me, that's... I think it starts in... Yeah. It's not even close. Really, I mean, focus on the on the color. I mean, you, you can't even see the grass, really, the one on the right. Yeah. And so the problem you have is these old grades mm -hmm. that were much easier are going for big bucks now. When if you were to pull that, the one yeah. on the right, out, would that grade a three now? I think that's that's a, an excellent uh, topic for a, a, another video, Mike. We're going to get, what is this? Uh, I don't know what year this is. Let's get a Babe Ruth. Let's pull it. Let's crack it. Actually, let's right. buy some packs. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. There's, yeah. 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 I, no, I think you're right. Absolutely. I think the grading's gotten better um, over the years. How long has PSA been around? 30? Two years, 30 ish years? 31 years, 1991. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to the next one. Mantles, two, 52 mantles. Kind of ignore these green circles yeah. as much yeah. as you can. They're, obviously, they're trying to point to the, the corners, but. Right, right. First of okay. all, which, which one is better? Which, the one on the left is better. The coloring, the coloring is more vibrant. It's yeah. centered better. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, hands down. No question. Night and day. Four and a half on the left, seven on the right. And again, <sighs> a much older. Yeah. I'm pretty sure if I'm reading these right, this one is a much older label. I believe so. Yeah. So... So let's if you take that card and you just get it re re slabbed, mm -hmm. they're fine with that. They, they they're not going. If you just have them re slab it, they don't grade it, right? They don't say, "We oh this is terrible." What were we thinking? I, I right? don't know. That's a good question. How can you stand behind that grade today? <laughs> it's, it's even a little diamond cut, right? Yeah, yeah, it the is. The top yeah. left mm -hmm. is it's a narrower, narrower, the, right? Wild. I don't know. All right. Next up. We got some more mantles. Okay. All right. Uh, the one on the left is better color. Yeah. Uh, centering. The one on the left is better. Okay. The one on the right, those edges are pretty rough. Edges, corners. I mean, corners, yeah. yeah. Centering is pretty pretty equal. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, the one on the left is, is better. Much better. Two or three grades better. Ready? Guaranteed. 
four point five on the yeah. left, nice. one on the right. There you go. See, All I had right. to throw in an, an easy one just to make it so you wouldn't just say, <laughs> oh, "Well, nice." Uh, okay. I like this this Maddie C. I'm gonna have to check him out. Yeah, big fan. And I checked with him. He's cool with me doing this too. So. Oh, okay, good. Um. Babe Ruth, you ever heard of this guy? Uh, yeah, I'd trade him. I'd trade him yeah. for, you know. Na, na, know. na, net. <laughs> yes, that's right. Front row seats, though. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is the yellow. Uh, I think they have, what, three different backgrounds? Yeah. But, uh, but, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it looks fine for, what is it, the 31 Gaudi, 33, 33. Gaudi? Yeah. Nice centering. Yep. Yep. Decent color. It's a one. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a okay. I was gonna say a one, one point five. And he says it's a wrinkle free and perfectly clean back. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I think that's what a 1.5 or one should look like. But compared to what we looked at, you know, the last few. But why seven. is this a one? I don't well, what do you mean? I mean, it I mean clearly the, the corners are uh, I, I'm I'm comparing it just an objective one, right? I'm not looking at like the okay. previous ones we did. We're gonna see some. I ones. would say it's a one. We're gonna okay. see some legit ones here. I don't think this is okay. a one. I think this is a two to a three, one point five at the worst. Okay, I'll give you that. I mean, there's no wrinkles. Or we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk a little bit about one versus one point five too. And oh, what a perfect segue. <laughs>